TV, turning on your world. Support teaching and learning approaches that reflect real life challenges. Today on Your World. The parents should be there for these learners. There has to be a close collaboration. School-based psychosocial support has to be a core activity for all children. The social emotional learning will assist our learners if the teachers and the facilitators of learning are well equipped. All right, a uh, very good morning to you. And yes, that is exactly what we will be discussing today right here on Your World. And it's all about promoting social emotional learning right here in the country. Because traditionally, education focuses on three main areas. There's reading, there's writing, and there's arithmetic. All right. However, in a world where emotional intelligence is becoming a fundamental skill, there is a huge need for social emotional learning to be taught to our children. But the biggest question is what exactly is social emotional learning and what are the examples of social emotional uh, skills but biggest question is why exactly do they match so that is what we'll be focusing on this morning right here on your world we are live so that means you can engage with us on our socials and that is at ntv kenya both on facebook and on x and tag me as well at lubembe underscore winnie and let's get to understand social emotional learning why is it very important and why do we need to implement it as soon as now all right in our curriculum and in our schools and today we have a very able panel to help us discuss that and and uh, we have Dr. Anil Kamis, who is a researcher, Institute for Human Development from Aga Khan University. Good to have you this morning, sir. Thank you. And we also have Miss um, Rosalia Mweni Ndambuki, who's the Assistant Director, School Health and Development in Charge of Quality Assurance from Nairobi City County. Good to have you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time, Miss Rosalia. And we also have Helen Nchebere, who's a teacher and counseling psychologist as well. Good to have you this morning. Very well balanced uh, panel to have this conversation. I was telling uh, Madam Helen earlier on, you look very familiar. Aren't you sure you are my teacher at some point? <laughs> but it's so good to have you this morning. Um, and Dr. Anil, I'm just gonna start with you. Social emotional learning, right? Someone who's tuning in right this morning. And they're thinking, okay, what exactly is that? Because we have CBC, we had 844, and now we have <laughs> all those things, right? But social emotional learning, what mm. exactly is it? No, you're absolutely right, Winnie, that, mm. you know, we start in education with the three R's, yeah. reading, writing, and arithmetic. Yes. And we know that that is not enough mm -hmm. to bring up children developmentally yeah. in a holistic way. Mm -hmm. So social emotional learning, you know, we want to get away from that sort of difficult language. Mm -hmm. It's when children really understand and know how they're feeling, mm -hmm. and then they're able to respond. All right. So for example, if a child is in fear, mm. they go to school, yeah. they don't know how to do something, that is where social emotional learning comes in. All right. They become critical mm -hmm. of their own understanding. Mm. They become creative, they become collaborative. They work together to solve their problems. Mm -hmm. That is in a very short way what social emotional learning is. Mm -hmm. We can give you the jargon, mm -hmm. you know, which is, <laughs> you know, where children self-regulate, for yeah. example, yeah. how they will um, understand or they are self-aware. Mm -hmm. You know, these are sort of the terminologies we use or we talk about, for example, self-management. Yes. Uh, and that is where they then allow themselves mm -hmm. to say, I have an issue. What is that issue? How do I address that issue? Mm, and right. schools become a very important part of that. I mean, absolutely, because they spend most of their time uh, in schools, right, as compared to the time that they are home, I think. And someone would say, yeah, we also spend more time in our workplaces <coughs> as compared to the time that we are home. Mm, so including mm. some of those things in school uh, is important. Why, why now? Why, why are we talking about, you know, that whole aspect of social emotional learning yeah. now? Why, yeah. why is it very important here? So there are two reasons why now. All right. One is from COVID, we learned about the huge anxiety people have. Right. Teachers, parents, children, everybody. And the other is we have known for a long time mm -hmm. that schools very much focus on the academic, mm -hmm. the exams. Mm -hmm. But one of the purposes of schools mm -hmm. is what we call screening. Okay. Those who are bright 
and those and who are not so bright. Not so bright. Okay. So the bright ones go to the academic trend mm -hmm. and that track, and the not so bright, we sort of forget about them. All right. And that's what exams do as well. Mm -hmm. They screen that. Mm -hmm. And that's not how people learn. True. That's not a fit for purpose society. Mm -hmm. So we have known for a long, long time mm -hmm. that schools actually are very important, children and teachers mm -hmm. and uh, community spend a lot of time and energy and resource mm -hmm. on schools. Mm -hmm. So schools have a big role to play on social emotional learning. Mm -hmm. But also we know from our research mm -hmm. that a focus on social emotional learning and good social emotional learning development mm -hmm. allows children to be more confident, mm -hmm. allows children to be more collaborative, mm -hmm. allows children to be more cooperative in the way they approach things. Mm -hmm. It builds conflict resolution skills, mm -hmm. and we all know right now yeah. we've got a lot of difficulties in our societies, mm -hmm. and we need people, starting with children but also teachers, mm -hmm. to be able to understand and work together mm -hmm. to really face problems. The other thing, of course, is that society is changing. Yeah. We're moving towards what we call a knowledge society mm -hmm. or a knowledge economy. So it's not the same old, same old that we've had yeah. for the last 200 years with the, what we call the Industrial Revolution I see that. Yeah. and manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So schools have to change in terms of how society changes, mm -hmm. how the economy is changing, mm -hmm. and how human beings will deal with yeah. a lot of very important changes that are coming. Mm -hmm. Artificial intelligence, yeah. climate change, mm -hmm. uh, cross-border issues. Mm -hmm etc. All yeah. of those big issues are coming to us. I see that, yeah. So some of the skills is very, it's very necessary, aside from just the skill set that we usually taught in schools, but also uh, emotional learning. All right. right. Um, so Ms. Rosalia, can we then <coughs> talk about the state of, first of all, not social emotional learning in our schools, especially in Nairobi County, but first of all, the state of learning before we even talk about social, emotional learning. What is it, where are we at? What are some of these gaps that you have noticed over time? Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. In Nairobi County, uh, basically we deal with the early years, mm -hmm. that is zero to six. All right. That is, uh, so we, we, we nurture these children. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we have uh, 228 ECD mm -hmm. centers oh, in Nairobi yeah, County, yeah. Mm -hmm. with a population of about 30,000 children. Mm -hmm that uh, we take care of. Right. So you can imagine from that tender age when they don't even know how to eat, mm. how to write, mm -hmm. we, we, we nurture them until they become uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, ready to go to school. Mm. Yeah, so the, the real status of, uh, of uh, the social emotional learning in the county mm -hmm. is uh, we, have, uh, we have seen the importance of social learning mm -hmm. And uh, we have engaged mm -hmm. all the educators, the stakeholders, mm -hmm. the policy makers, yeah. that is us. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to put a lot of guidelines. Like now we are working on the child care mm -hmm. guidelines yeah. as a county so that we see how we can assist these children to mm -hmm. grow emotionally, physically, yeah. cognitively. Yeah. yeah, all those we put them together all right yeah okay um because again i was reading through and there's the whole child development because most of the time we usually focus on childhood development yes but then again we also want to create a wholesome person because yes. one of the questions that we'll be answering later on in the conversation is then so what does a whole child when they are adults what exactly do they look like with all the skills and social emotional learning you once know, once we have all yeah. those things together mm -hmm. we are trying to bring out uh, a child who is a uh, engaged, okay. a child who is empowered, mm -hmm. and a child who is an ethical citizen. Because mm. as much as we are learning, it's not about studies. Mm -hmm. And then we are trying to bring out each learner's potential. Mm. Because all of them are different, yeah. and they go to different pathways. So we are yeah. not strictly on, you have to do this, you have to do that. Yeah. Every learner's potential, yeah. and then as citizens, mm -hmm. they are going to grow up to be very empowered, Mm -hmm. very ethical mm -hmm. and and engaged mm, yeah I see that not mm -hmm. just I'm, I'm pretty sure at some point you saw this um, there's a cartoon on, on one of the newspapers um, and you know they were talking about how case it points for animals so you take an elephant you take fish mm -hmm. and then you, and you put them <coughs> in one and you expect them to have yeah. the same results and yet they have different, different. capabilities Thank right you. okay yeah. Yeah. Um, so madam Helen uh, let's talk about SEL and and 
I mean, we mentioned around, uh, Ms. Um, Rosalia mentioned zero to around six years. So I'm just curious to understand. Six. So why is it important, first of all, to start at that very early age? And then we'll talk about some of the SEL initiatives that you have. Um, you know, uh, in, in your in your organization. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. it's important to start at that early age mm -hmm. because um, a child, the development of a child, mm -hmm. even up to the old age, mm -hmm. from the just the basics of a child as uh, as early as mm -hmm. an infant, mm -hmm. it matters a lot in what a child or the expression and the emotions of a child, mm -hmm. the values and anything instilled in that child. Yeah. So starting early helps. As the child grows and moves on in every stage, mm -hmm. there is moderation and the containment of every uh, emotion. Mm -hmm. The child is able to uh, socialize with others well. Mm -hmm. And as the child grows, it is something inside that child yeah. that uh, so socializing with others and mm -hmm. being friendly and all that and the controlling the emotions is important. So the child grows with all that until they would even they would age. Mm. Uh, and that brings our personalities mm. out. Yeah. Yeah. From an early age, the the picture mm. or the, the, the inborn thing mm. that a child is born with, mm -hmm. if it is not managed as a person grows, right. then it grows uh, to something bigger, mm -hmm. even when a person is an adult. Yeah. But things are managed. Mm -hmm as early as possible mm. to enable the person grow <coughs> as a holistic person. I mean, yeah. Dr. Doctor, Doctor, um, Anil mentioned the whole aspect about being aware. Because uh, I remember when we were growing up, uh, a lot of people would say, you know, as millennials, you were never given a chance to express how you're feeling and express your emotions and all those things. Um, it was more of you have to listen to what you are told and you have to follow and all those things. So a lot of people mm. do not have, you know, the sort of like emotional, they're not emotionally intelligent because they're not sure how do I express myself and all those things. So now we understand why it's important to inculcate that in, in, in such an early age. So some, what are some of these uh, initiatives, like SEL initiatives that you have? Um, you know, in, in, your, in your school, your organization? Okay. Um, the learners in our school, that is Westlands, mm -hmm. are between the ages from ECD, mm -hmm. ages of three mm -hmm. to around 17, right. and sometimes in the JS now, uh -huh. goes even up to 18, depending on uh, when at the child started school, mm -hmm. or also depending on the well being of a child. Mm -hmm. Um, because there are those who will delay mm -hmm. and there are those who will, of course, move fast. Yeah. Uh, so in our school uh, in Westlands, mm -hmm. um, we take care of uh, the social emotional learning very well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've put measures on the ground mm -hmm. and uh, begins with the class teacher mm -hmm. because the class teacher of a child understands that child. Mm -hmm. The teacher is with the child from morning to evening. All right. So that teacher understands the child very well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we even say the teacher understands the child more than the parent. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time during the day when the child is active, mm -hmm. the child is with the teacher. Uh, so uh, the teacher <coughs> interacts or creates a relationship, a good relationship, mm -hmm. understanding with the parent. Mm -hmm. um, meeting the, ch the, the, the parent or calling the parent even on phone when there is something that is, uh, that is uh, maybe you find something, um, an emotional expression like anger in a child, mm. um, fighting, yeah. uh, bullying others, yeah. uh, kind of uh, withdrawn. Mm. So the teacher wants to understand mm -hmm. why is this child behaving like this? Yeah. And for the teacher, you did not have this child in the evening. Mm -hmm. You did not have this child maybe, like now we are going to open schools. Yes. Holiday has been there. Mm -hmm. You don't know what has, um, what has been prevailing the throughout the, the holiday. Yeah. So it is important for the parent mm -hmm. to get involved. Okay. So the teachers involve the parents. Mm -hmm. Call the parent and I try to understand why is this child behaving, behaving this like way. This. When yeah. we closed the school, he was a different person. Mm -hmm. Why does he look or uh, withdrawn? Mm -hmm. Why is he angered all the time? Mm -hmm. 
and so the parents' support is very vital yeah. in such a case. Yeah. So parents are involved. I see that. Yeah. Um, like Kitambo, where you did something, they call your parent, they come, your parent comes and beats you as well, <laughs> instead of trying to understand why mm -hmm. is why is this behavior coming from, all right? Um, yeah, this, 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 they are not beaten, yeah. but there is <laughs> guidance and counseling. Yeah. And that's also a measure that we have put in place mm -hmm. in our school. Okay. Uh, an office, a department with an office and a counselor in place, mm -hmm. and the, the teacher in charge. And um, the children, again, as I'm saying, the class teacher is very vital in understanding mm. the emotions of uh, the child. All right. The teacher refers. Mm -hmm. In case the parent comes and they discuss and they feel that, or we feel that there is need mm. to have this uh, child taken through counseling, mm -hmm. so that the, 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 the counselor in the school is given the child, to, yeah. uh, takes the child through, mm -hmm. understands, yeah. and then if it's a matter that requires referral even to the hospital, mm -hmm. it is done through the support of the parent and the, and office. the office. I see yeah. that, I see mm -hmm. that. And, and I like what you're saying, it's first of all trying to understand why this behavior, <coughs> instead of just punishing the child yeah. for, you know, behaving in a certain way, first of all, seek to understand what exactly um, is, is, is happening. Dr. Anil, we, we talked about zero to around six years. So would you say this is the right age or is there a specific, you no. know, age that you'd say? So we know for a fact now hmm. that the zero to three the zero to six and the zero to eight, which mm -hmm. we call the early childhood mm -hmm. uh, development age, mm -hmm. is the most critical for human development right. throughout the life course. In fact, learning and development actually happens in the womb mm -hmm. before the child is actually is born. born. Mm -hmm. Children actually are able to hear mm -hmm. whilst they are in the womb. Yeah. The auditory uh, facility is growing. We also know that the brain develops very fast and very much mm -hmm. in the zero to three. Mm -hmm. So between 85 mm -hmm. and 90% of the brain is developed mm -hmm. before the age of three. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what happens yeah. is we take children to school after the age of uh, three. After the age of three, yes. Right? Yeah. So we've got a disconnect yeah. between human development mm -hmm. from brain and social emotional development All right. before the age of three and what schools do from the pre-primary age. So okay. the answer is yes, mm -hmm. that's the most critical age. Mm -hmm. But we need links mm -hmm. between the education facilities, mm -hmm. the health facilities, mm -hmm. the community, and parents and caregivers mm -hmm. of those children yeah. who are at a very important age. And so we have something called the Nurturing Care Framework, mm -hmm. which has all these various elements. And we try to work across the sectors. So we actually focus on the child yeah and not the system itself. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I, I, I see that. And it's interesting <coughs> because a lot of parents would say, I mean, even before age three, they have not, how they develop, they have not <laughs> yeah. developed very well. So they might not understand, you know, some of those things. Um, so, so, yeah, some of them will tend to delay. Uh, and even when they go to school, it's up to the teacher to then sort of like initiate some of those things. But again, what you're saying is there's a bit of, of then disconnect. So, so how is this disconnect detrimental to, let's say, the child's not only development, but also in how they relate with the So you, you know, when we sit in Nairobi, mm -hmm. it's very easy yeah. to talk about schools, teachers, mm -hmm. infrastructure. Yeah. So our studies actually were in Assel counties, mm -hmm. in the arid and semi-arid lands, including, of course, Nairobi County as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when we go out there, we've got real issues mm -hmm. around lack of teachers, mm -hmm. lack of adequate numbers of yeah. teachers, yeah. Uh, huge distances between the school and the community, mm -hmm. uh, issues around infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And so what we now know is that the earlier you intervene mm -hmm. in a child's life, the better the, better yeah. the outcomes for right. those children. So it's really about the system, mm -hmm. working with government, mm -hmm. working with teachers, working with civil society mm -hmm. in a whole system approach. And it's exactly what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. It's this whole child development. Mm -hmm. We can't think of the child as belonging to the school mm -hmm. for X amount of hours, yeah. and before the age of three, belonging to the health to the clinic, <laughs> and then to the mother, and yeah. then to the father, or yeah. to the community. Mm -hmm. We need to look at that as a whole child. Mm -hmm. And so one of the pieces of work that we are doing now mm -hmm. is on what we call implementation research. Mm -hmm. 
to try to understand how systems actually are working. The policy framework is very good. Yeah. We have the CBC, which has CELL mm -hmm. as a cross-curricular theme, mm -hmm. as emotional development as a cross-curricular theme. Yeah. But now we don't actually know, for example, mm -hmm. what is good CELL okay. from the perspective of the teachers. All right. What are the competencies that we need mm -hmm. to build at the school level? Right. And then one of the things that our research clearly showed mm -hmm is that 97% of parents feel that um, schools have an important role to play in their children's lives. Sure. But 52% of uh, teachers mm -hmm. knew about the policy framework. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of awareness raising, yeah. training and yeah. development to do at the level of the teachers. I see that. And yeah. creating the communication between the school mm -hmm and the home environment. I see that. Um, I mean, <coughs> but um, Shabira mentioned all about involving the parents, um, you know, as well, in, in terms of both of them trying to understand why is this child behaving like mm. this. But if the teacher is not then well equipped to understand that, there might be a bit of, of, of a disconnect. Um, but then, so how would you say, you know, social emotional learning has been integrated, say, in a, has it been like fully integrated? Are there challenges maybe or some barriers yeah. um, that you have maybe come across? Maybe before I answer that, mm. uh, I, would, I would just like to bring it to everyone's attention yeah. that uh, when we are talking about zero to three, okay. we should really bang a lot of noise there okay. where we need to tell the parents mm -hmm. and everybody, the caregivers, mm -hmm the policy makers on the importance mm. of the first 1,000 days of, of a human being. Life, yeah. If you look at our learners today, mm. most of them are not playing. Mm. And yet, the first place a child starts to play is in the uterus. That's true. So when they come out, they yeah. are they're just put in quiet environments. Mm -hmm. It's not a rich environment. Yeah. So I feel as a, the <coughs> parents, the caregivers, the teachers, mm. we should know and learn mm -hmm. the importance of the first 1,000 days and what it takes even yeah. to have a successful mm. pregnancy yeah. for you to have a child mm. who is okay. Yeah. Two, we have inclusion. Mm. We need to put everybody on board, mm. even the learners who are abled mm. differently. Yeah. And then the teachers, we should move from being teachers and mm. becoming mm. facilitators of learning yeah. where we allow learners mm -hmm. to bring out the real self mm -hmm. that i'm not interested in sitting on a chair yeah. i can lie on the floor lift my legs up and but i'm still, still learning. learning you see yeah. so we need to bring that beautiful environment mm -hmm. in our schools yeah. at home mm -hmm. i'm really screaming every day mm -hmm. about the keep <laughs> off the grass yeah. The children need to be out, out because the only way you'll be able to know mm -hmm. who is my child mm -hmm. is through play. Mm -hmm. How does a child bring out the, the, the language? Mm -hmm. It is through play. Yeah. How does a child communicate? Yeah. It is through play. Yeah, yeah, How will yeah. a child express themselves? Mm -hmm. Like you see sometimes they are crying mm -hmm. and when you give them their teddy bear, they, they, they settle, yeah. you know? Yeah. We should create such an environment mm -hmm. where the children are able to bring out mm -hmm. their emotions mm -hmm. and then they are dealt with mm -hmm. in a very positive yeah. way. Yeah. Even if it is punishment, yeah. it should be positive. In a positive way. When yeah. we are talking about uh, the, 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 the social emotional uh, mm -hmm. learning, yeah. as a teacher, mm -hmm. how, how comfortable are you? Because as a teacher, if you're also not happy yeah. with what you're doing, yeah. then you're not able to spread that same, out. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm screaming aloud that mm -hmm. we should lead this country to a place where mm -hmm. we are not seeing mm -hmm. what the children are not able to do, mm -hmm. but what can they do? And yeah. then we build on that right. and bring out their potential. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. So as a, as a, as a county, mm -hmm. Uh, on social emotional, we have done uh, uh, in there are 17 sub counties mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Yeah. So far, we have worked on eight, oh. and they have been capacity built mm. both the parents and, and the, the teachers, teachers yeah. and the stakeholders mm -hmm. on social emotional learning mm -hmm. and yeah. what to do. Mm -hmm. We they have also engaged the parents in activities mm -hmm. that are done in schools 
to help their learners enjoy learning. Mm -hmm. Like in those eight sub countries, we have even engaged parents in developing materials mm -hmm. that children use to learn and play mm -hmm. with. So when the, those parents have that information from that level, mm -hmm. they'll also use it at home. Oh, yeah. The children who are profound mm -hmm. and severe, mm -hmm. able differently or yeah. talented differently, mm -hmm. we are sending teachers mm -hmm. to their homes so that we help mm -hmm. the learners to come to schools school. though okay. it has not worked a hundred percent but i think we are geared mm. towards the right Crazy. direction what is the biggest challenge um for that that the reason why it hasn't the worked the well? biggest challenge is uh, we are still sensitized we are still talking to parents okay. on being able to accept mm. and not judge their children yeah that and also there's that sense of protection that yes. the parents would want to protect their child. Yes, from, yeah. so we, we are trying to help the parents by showing them and helping them. That's why we even send people at home mm. as we bring the children mm -hmm. towards yeah. school. Yeah. And then we are showing them that there's, there's no learner who is going to be left behind, sure. in whatever yeah. condition they are in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, if you look at the ECDs and primary, you know, even if it is bullying, mm -hmm. Interesting in love, mm -hmm. it starts from that tender age, yes. and it depends on the kind of environment the child has come mm -hmm. from. Yeah. So when we are uh, facilitating learning, mm -hmm. especially things like CBC, mm -hmm. that is when we bring in values. Mm -hmm. In every mm -hmm. activity area, yeah. we have a value. Mm -hmm. We have a core competence that we need to bring on board. Okay. That is why now teachers. We are not to be, you know, we are not supposed to be standing in front of the blackboards <laughs> telling children, ha, ha, ha. Do it this, is allowing that. children yeah. to bring out what they have yeah. and then you top up. I see that. You allow them to critically think, you allow them to problem solve, mm -hmm. you allow them to collaborate and communicate. Yeah. And that social emotional learning mm -hmm. will be very well because they know when to take turns, yeah. what to do, yeah. and how to coexist I mean, in a natural way. If only it were possible <laughs> to go back to that to that age, because then learning seems a little bit more fun than <laughs> when yeah. some, some of us were, were in school. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and, and Madam Helen, that what are some what, what really influenced, you know, that design? Decision for you to implement, you know, SAL in your, yes, in your organization. Yes. But done again. Um, what influenced, uh, you know, that decision and understanding what what everyone has said. So, what is it that really influenced you mm -hmm. to implement SAL in in your organization? Okay. Now, um, fortunately, with the CBC, mm -hmm. uh, it is a curriculum that has brought a lot of changes. Okay. And of course, positive changes. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, uh, this, these uh, children work in groups. Mm. It is after every topic, uh, after learning area, yeah. children are engaged okay. as a pair or right. in groups. All right. And therefore, if possibly there is um, a child who felt, I cannot do, mm. and you work together with uh, an, an opponent mm -hmm. or a, an, a colleague, mm -hmm who helps you all, you know, narrowing, narrowing the bigger group of the class mm -hmm. to working with a friend one on one, mm -hmm. or, or then a group of three, a group of four, mm -hmm. it becomes easy. Mm -hmm. So they start understanding from a, 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 a small range now. Yeah. From my friend here, who I play with, mm -hmm. so I can, I can do. Yeah. I can be able to mm -hmm. get to that level. Mm -hmm. So when you get to a bigger group, mm -hmm. You find if I did it with my friend mm -hmm. alone, we were two of us, and if I did it at that level, mm -hmm. then even in this other bigger group of five, I, I can, can try. Yeah. And okay. the child tries and feels, mm -hmm. oh, so uh, my self esteem is growing. Mm -hmm. So even in the class now, a bigger group, mm -hmm. you see the child is able to at least say, try, mm -hmm. let me try, and finally, mm -hmm. Uh, things happen yeah. and the child is happy. Yeah. So the emotion there now changes to mm -hmm. a very positive one and the child is able to move on. Yeah. So with the CBC, mm -hmm. I think it has brought a very positive and a productive learning mm -hmm. all around. Mm -hmm. uh, the child is able to interact with others. Mm -hmm. The child is able to understand the other person mm -hmm. and to understand also the, the environment mm -hmm. because it is a doing. Unlike that time when it was just being taught, it yeah. is now hands-on mm -hmm. for the learner yeah. and himself. We have 
oh no, we need to go on a break right now because I was about to ask, so how are the learners responding <laughs> to this new form? But, but I think we'll, we'll answer that after the break because I do not want to rush you in 30 seconds before we go on a break. Uh, and, and we'll also focus more on the research that was done um, by Aga Khan University. Um, and, and this is on, on social emotional learning. So between the ages of what, 3 to 17. So yes. we also want to understand more uh, from the findings. Uh, and of course, all that is coming up after the break. If you have any question, please engage with us on our socials at NTV Kenya. And this is both with Facebook and on X, tag me as well at Lubembe underscore Winnie. But if you feel like you want to speak to our panel this morning, <laughs> feel free to do so. Our numbers will be down on your screen as far as really understanding social emotional learning and you know what it's all about and the advantage of the same. All right, so we will see you after this short break. Stay with us, the show is your world. Welcome back. The conversation still continues even during the break. And uh, we're talking about social emotional uh, learning this morning. And of course, um, just trying to understand how then do we promote that right here in the country. And we have a very able panel. Uh, <laughs> Rosalie was telling us during the break, we can't make a noise instead. But right now, you're still making noise, but for <laughs> important things that, yes. uh, that really matter. Well, that really caught me. All right. So it's all about social emotional learning this morning. We have Dr. Anil Kamis from, uh, who's a researcher from the Institute of uh, for Human Development from Aga Khan University. Ms. Rosalia Mwani Ndaboki, who's assistant director, uh, School of uh, School Health and uh, Development in Child of Quality Assurance from Nairobi County, and we also have Madam Helen Mchebera, who's a teacher as well as a counselling psychologist. So, Dr. Anil, can we talk about um, the study that, that was conducted? First of all, what necessitated the study, and what are some of the findings? From thank, the you, yeah. thank you, thank you. So the study uh, over the last 18 months consisted of three things. Yeah. We did a policy analysis, mm -hmm. we did a systematic review, mm -hmm. and we did uh, observations in the homes, in the schools, and the communities. Mm -hmm. So the headline is that it's a good news story. Okay. The curriculum mm -hmm. is really integrating things. Mm -hmm. uh, CBC is there. Mm -hmm. um, we, as Aga Khan University, Institute for Human Development. Mm -hmm. uh, we researched, or if you like, uh, had 400 mm -hmm. teachers and 400 parents oh, wow. that okay. we engaged with. All right. We consulted with 37 or thereabouts experts in the field. Mm -hmm. The policy is there. Mm -hmm. Now, the bad news mm -hmm. is that we don't have really a policy implementation framework. Mm -hmm. And as you saw during COVID as mm -hmm. well, the education budget sometimes gets shifted to other, to other priorities. So mm -hmm. that is one important area. But we're also happy that um, the National Council on Children's Services, NCCS, is now developed mm -hmm. uh, as a monitoring and, uh, if you like, oversight agency right. to make sure all children are growing and developing. But we don't really know what the skills are. Mm -hmm. Underpinning cell, right. social emotional learning, how teachers engage with that. Mm -hmm. And we have four areas that we're now presently working on. Yeah. One is whether good cell actually leads to reducing inequalities mm -hmm. in right. our schools and communities. Okay. The second, if you like, is um, which cell competencies mm -hmm. lead to which outcomes. Mm -hmm. So anecdotally, and the research literature out there tells us, yeah that good cell leads to good academic outcomes. Mm -hmm. But what is that pathway and how do we build that? Yeah, yeah. The third is, as we spoke earlier, mm -hmm. discipline is important in our context. Mm -hmm. And there are cultural differences in our communities mm -hmm. in terms of expectations and values. Mm -hmm. So how do schools and communities work mm -hmm. to, in, if you like, embed those values right. in our curricula and move forward. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth is how can the system respond mm. so that the needs of all children are met, are met yeah. and that we open up flexible pathways of learning. So overall, a very good story mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, now we really need to understand who communicates what to whom. All right. So when we're talking about sensitization, 
when we're talking about raising awareness, mm -hmm. when we're talking about school, home, relationships, mm -hmm. how does that happen? What are the guidelines that we need to create mm -hmm. on what standards? And so we're trying to now work very strongly on yeah. those areas. All right. Any barriers that, or, or challenges <laughs> during, during the research? That, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. Yes, we, we do have mm -hmm. certain barriers. Yeah. Um, we, we need to make sure mm -hmm. that, and this is a debate, and yeah. we can debate that. Sure, yeah. Who is ultimately responsible mm. for children's development? Yeah. And so the system is quite top down. Right. Uh, teachers don't have the adequate training mm -hmm. that they really need. need. Yeah. Teacher voice sometimes get lost mm -hmm. in the examination and mm -hmm. you know, tick box exercises. Mm -hmm. So there are some very important issues that we need to address right. around teacher professionalization, teacher development, mm -hmm. Uh, teacher appraisal, which has been a very big issue as well. Mm -hmm. uh, materials, uh, equity of mm -hmm. resources that are there along all the various counties and sub-counties. Uh, some areas are very, very disadvantaged, mm -hmm. uh, don't have local teachers. Yeah. So it, it, it's, a, it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but Rosalie also mentioned this a little bit when, when uh, you know, we're talking about sometimes also having the children, uh, and especially those who are able to differently to come, has not worked very well, but it's like sort of like work um, in progress. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to understand then, what are some of the strategies that you know you have put in place to ensure that first of all, we deal with these barriers, but also, uh, you know, cell actually works and it's properly implemented. Because we talked about how sometimes <laughs> implementation is a very, very big challenge, um, not only in Nairobi County, but really across the country. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, one way is uh, the, the county is investing dangerously mm. on uh, ensuring we employ mm. teachers who are trained okay. for special needs at that tender age. Right. And we have them in place. Mm. Secondly, we have done a lot of capacity building <coughs> and retooling mm. of parents, of teachers, mm -hmm. and even the other teachers who are not trained mm -hmm. as special needs children right. to understand yeah. that we have learners who are abled differently mm -hmm. and it's inclusive. Mm. and education for mm. all. Yeah. So uh, we have done that. Mm -hmm. We have also worked hard on ensuring that we have a, a lot of digital integration. Mm. Because Important you see right children yeah. like those ones who have cerebral palsy, mm. it can be boring when you're there telling them things. Mm. They can listen to music, they can watch, mm -hmm. they can learn through yeah. the, 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 the digital mm. devices. Mm. Yeah. Then uh, we also work hard on co-curricular activities mm -hmm. and uh, every year mm -hmm. we go to the nationals okay even this year we took uh, 274 children to eldoret wow so okay. we have we have we have a lot of activities mm -hmm. and even the learners who are able differently mm -hmm. we include them mm -hmm. we leave no one behind mm -hmm. so uh, as a county i think mm -hmm. we are investing mm -hmm. in teacher training mm -hmm and also looking for resources okay. and resource allocation, yeah. community involvement mm -hmm. in ensuring mm -hmm. SEL yeah. is coming in mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. Any positive outcomes that you can report on? Yeah, so we yeah. have uh, improved student behavior, All right. improved parent behavior yeah. on understanding mm -hmm. what is expected of them. Of the child. Because uh, mm -hmm. even parents were not able to to accept CBC. Mm. I remember one saying, Sasi, I think I'm going to talk to you about chicken feathers. Are you Somewhere. getting? <laughs> and then even that issue of saying uh, uh, CBC is a new curriculum, yet yeah. it is the curriculum in force. Mm. It's only understanding. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. if I can give an example, right. if I'm teaching fractions mm -hmm. in grade two, mm -hmm. and I give my children an assignment mm -hmm. for fractions, I don't need to give them numbers in the book. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just to make an activity hands-on, mm -hmm. mind-on, and heart-on. Yeah. I will tell my children, go home. Mm -hmm. When mommy has made ugali, yeah. cut it into half. Yeah. And he will put everybody in place. Yeah. This is half. half. Because as much as we are, we are facilitating learning, mm -hmm. what are we putting through to the learners? Mm -hmm. We want to put the knowledge. Mm -hmm. We want to bring in the skill. Right. And then we want to bring a very positive 
attitude. Mm -hmm. So most of the outcomes is improved student behavior, mm -hmm. uh, positive school environments, right. where children learn through play, and children happy are happy to be in school, yeah. children look forward to doing to projects, yeah. and not parents to do for them. Okay. It is the children to show the parents what that to do. What they can Are do. you getting? Yeah. And then there is also enhanced academic performances mm -hmm. because now children love mm -hmm. what they are doing. Right. There is high attendance. Mm -hmm. That's why you find our schools are very crowded mm -hmm. because everybody is, is, is wants to be there. Yeah. And then also there is improved social mm -hmm. skills, okay. things like peer teaching. Mm -hmm. You know, even the small ones, when they are doing things, you'll see somebody say, teacher, kusema ivo, nevi, do this. Yeah. So the children teach themselves and they understand the concepts mm -hmm. and the strategies okay. that are in that are every these. activity. Okay, I like that. You said hands-on? Hands-on, hands on, minds, minds on, on, and, and hearts on. on. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, again, Madam Chef, can you also report on how are the learners responding, um, you know, to this? I know earlier on you talked about how the teachers and their parents are also responding, but how are the learners? Do they love coming to school more? <laughs> are they taking okay. each yeah, other Yeah, there are so more? many, uh, so many uh, positive outcomes. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, now, you see, uh, previously, if before this, uh, before uh, the CBC, mm -hmm. uh, there's something that a child felt, I don't like this. Mm -hmm. I don't like a certain teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't like this class. <laughs> I don't even like entering that gate of the school. Yeah. But uh, with that, you find they, have, they start changing. Mm -hmm. Everything is friendly. Mm -hmm. It is like, I want to see a certain teacher now that I didn't want to see before. Mm -hmm. And with that, if you, the child feels that now there is a good rapport of mm -hmm. uh, with the teacher, the outcome of the subject or the learning area mm. which that teacher is teaching will be now easy to the child. Right. The child will enjoy learning. Mm -hmm. If it is music, if it is drama, if it is um, if physical education, mm. the, child, the children now start understanding and feeling that I would like to do it even more yeah. rather than previously when before it they acquired the, the social emotion learning. Yeah, learning. Yeah. So what are some of these uh, would say like key factors that have contributed to the success mm -hmm. and what exactly does scalability look like um, as far as integrating um, cell in schools mm -hmm. and um, you know in, in the organization as well? Uh, there is <coughs> collaboration mm -hmm. between the stakeholders, right. the school, mm -hmm. uh, the administration mm -hmm. and the teachers mm -hmm. and the parents. All right. So they start working together. Mm -hmm it just comes out very well because mm -hmm. it is involvement mm -hmm. from this to the other, from this to the other. Mm -hmm. So it becomes like an umbrella of we are one. Mm -hmm. And working together will bring very, uh, it will, will bring everything to success. Mm. So it has brought an umbrella of togetherness. Okay, which is, which is very, very key. Mm -hmm. and, and Dr. Anil, do you also want to, to talk a little bit more on collaborations yeah. uh, and also some of the recommendations that you have based on what yeah. you have seen from the study. So I, I think what we're hearing yeah. is around three or four very major issues mm -hmm. that we need to look at. Mm -hmm. So what Madame Helen is telling us is let cell mm -hmm. and whole child development yeah. be a whole school initiative. Okay. It yeah. can't be one thing in piecemeal. Yeah. Yeah. And children themselves have agency. Mm -hmm. Children themselves actually understand mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a study earlier on teacher absenteeism, mm -hmm. and it was very interesting yeah. that using the digital ecosystem that is there, mm -hmm. using SMSs, yeah. children are able to report who is at school and who is not <laughs> who at is school. Not. Mm -hmm. So we need to give children a voice as well yeah. and allow them to participate in their own educational journey. All right. We also have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Children are developing their own online communities. Mm -hmm. We need safeguards. Mm -hmm. What are the influences that are coming to them? And from a media perspective, we hope we will work very closely with you as well mm -hmm. in terms of dispelling some myths yeah. that are out there. Mm -hmm. I think um, the third aspect, if you like, is that we really want Cell mm -hmm. to be a very powerful tool yeah. in understanding and improving school performance. Right. 
but we must monitor the development of children at an individual level. Mm -hmm. And we have the EMS systems, the Education Management Information Systems. Mm -hmm. We have the digital ecosystem that is unfolding. Mm -hmm. We have teacher professionalization that is becoming important. Yeah, right. We have integrated early childhood development policy now uh, that we have contributed to. So I think uh, the ingredients are there. Mm -hmm. So the recipe is now to really focus on the child. Mm -hmm the communication between the parents and the school yeah, right. and ensuring that the government authorities and oversight mm -hmm. respond to needs on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that's where the scalability uh, potential really in. is. Yeah. All right, and what would you say in terms of still on collaboration, um, like research institutions, for example, um, you know what, what Aga Khan is doing, yeah. how then can they sort of like collaborate with let's say, <laughs> Nairobi yeah. State County, and also like learning institutions, just to make sure that yeah. we have this, um, you know, a success. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, one of the sort of mandates, if you like, of the Aga Khan University mm -hmm. is around the four principles of IQRA. Mm -hmm. I for impact, mm -hmm. Q for quality, mm -hmm. R for relevance, mm -hmm. and A for access. Mm -hmm. So in everything we do, mm -hmm. we actually co-create and mm -hmm. co-collaborate with the county, mm -hmm. with the government, with uh, organizations, with mm -hmm. civil society. Mm -hmm. And these people actually help us mm -hmm. actually identify the problem, mm -hmm. co-design the study, mm -hmm. create the solutions that are there, and then help disseminate that information. Mm -hmm. So I could give you many examples, mm -hmm. yeah. but really the purpose is that it's not us as academics yeah. who then work with policy and critique critique policy and mm -hmm. tell teachers what to do. Yeah. It's actually a collaboration mm -hmm. and a co-creation amongst all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, Ms. Rosalie also speaking on the same, uh, in terms of collaboration, so what would you say would be, you know, role of, <laughs> only just Nairobi County, because I want to believe we also want to scale this to other, you know, um, but I mean, Dr. Anil mentioned, uh, you know, ASAL areas, mm -hmm. so then role of collaboration, just to make sure that this is success, but then from um, your point of view. Uh, we, we, we collaborate mm -hmm. by getting to see the best practices. Okay. Like now as a, as, as a county, mm -hmm. the other day we, we went to Moranga okay. because there were things which were being done there mm -hmm. and we needed to see what is going on that we can bring home. All right. So the minute people collaborate, even from the, 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 the house level, mm -hmm. coming to school, coming to the to the office mm -hmm. and then to to the to the citizens mm -hmm. it it brings out best practices right. yeah it brings out best practices mm -hmm. yeah so as a county mm -hmm. we, we we collaborate even with partners mm -hmm. we collaborate even with organizations mm -hmm. that are bringing matters the child yeah. and then we learn and we try to implement them mm -hmm. yeah with okay. our learners. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, we talked about implementation and all those things, was, you know, I was about to ask, so what are some of these ways that we can ensure that, you know, cell is actually implemented and some of these programs implemented in, uh, you know, in schools? Uh, anything we put on board mm -hmm. as, an, as a county, yeah. we always follow them up with assessments. All right. Very serious assessments. Mm -hmm. And then we try to find out, has it added value mm -hmm. or has it not okay. added oh, okay. value? And then we keep on monitoring mm -hmm. and evaluating and seeing the impact mm -hmm. of what we have put on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we really do a lot of that. Yeah. We just don't implement and mm -hmm. leave it like that. Adios. Yeah. All the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do what you have to do. Make sure that this this uh, you know is is uh, successful. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, you talked about partnerships as well, and you know how that that is important. Um, but so beyond the classroom, and I said we'll also answer this question, right? Beyond the classroom, what exactly does, you know, SAL look like? What is this adults? Yeah, like in a few years to come, you, you know, Madame Chimera will be like, that one <laughs> passed through my hands, and this is what. So what exactly does an adult who, you know, went through SAL sort of like look like from, from your perspective? Okay. Um through uh, co-curricular activities, mm -hmm. which are very uh, pronounced, especially mm -hmm. in our school, yeah. um, we've had the children, like one, I cite one example, okay. recently we got a scholarship, mm -hmm. um, 
with the international and international school in Nairobi right. just because of uh, drama. Oh, nice. Uh, actively yeah. involved in drama and uh, our school says, uh, allow us have that one for scholarship to the highest level of mm -hmm. education. Yeah. And the child uh, got that advantage mm -hmm. just because of mm -hmm. the social emotional learning. Yeah. The child is now in a particular international school in Nairobi, mm -hmm. full scholarship wow. from the lower level yeah. to the highest level uh, of really the child's amazing. education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so there are positive things like those that are coming up. Mm. And um, there is also a very, um, uh, I mean, understanding the, 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 the children are now, even as they get out of the school now, mm -hmm. the parents are able to see the, the value the of yeah. the education that they mm -hmm. give to their children. Mm -hmm. They are able to see. Mm -hmm. This, when I took this child to grade one, mm -hmm. and now in grade five, mm -hmm. this is a different child, yeah. very different. Mm -hmm. There is some equipping that has been uh, that has gone through the child, mm. so the parent also are able to uh, to have value or to feel that there is value mm. for education mm. in their children. Yeah, and uh, also we see that uh, children who are <coughs> earlier uh, likely to leave school mm -hmm. and go out of school, mm -hmm. drop out of school. Mm -hmm for reasons that they feel unwanted, possibly. Mm -hmm. They feel uh, that um, uh, so and so is, uh, I, I mean, I, I staying, living with other children was impossible for them. Mm -hmm. But with that now they feel the education, the education continues from one level to another, another. from one yeah. stage mm -hmm. to another, because it is more friendly now mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. yeah, and then they want to come to school every single day, Please even come. over the week, <laughs> <laughs> over the weekends. I saw yeah. another video where a child was like, "Can I have three days off, <laughs> off of not school?" But I want to believe with this, I think it will be more of, "Can I get yeah. to school?" And also, absent absenteeism is now Has not there. Reduced. You know, previously they feared the cane. Yes, but for now it is. Getting to the gate, you yeah. are welcomed by the teacher on duty. Mm. You are greeted. How is home? Yeah. How is everybody? Yeah. Please uh, get into class. Yeah. Or, yeah. So it is now very friendly, and yeah. they feel that they are accepted. Yeah. They are part of Can the I environment go back to that they are there to grade one. <laughs> like the oldest <laughs> grade one student. I mean, uh, Dr. Anid, so then how do we make the school based, you know, psychosocial support sort of like a core, um, you know, in, in, in our learning institutions, yeah. really, so that we enhance that? happiness <laughs> going to school. Yeah, so we have quite a few unknowns, mm -hmm. as I spoke about earlier, yeah. competencies around CBC, mm -hmm. the importance of why psychosocial support is now particularly required yeah. with tensions and stresses in society that we have now. Mm -hmm. as, as an institute, we are actually now focusing quite a bit, mm -hmm. not just on the research, mm -hmm. but on the capacity building. Yeah. We need to develop the next generation of leaders in these areas. Mm. And particularly, we need to bring that from a, what we call a multi-sectoral mm -hmm. and interdisciplinary area. Mm -hmm. So you, we now have you know, psychologists, neuroscientists, mm. uh, sociologists, ethnographers, yeah. all working with us in these areas. And so we do uh, and are very clear mm. that actually we don't have all the answers. Mm. We do need to understand this. We do need to research. So cell isn't an answer to everything. everything yeah. There are many, many other things in our society that we have to confront, mm -hmm. whether that is poverty, whether that is inequality, whether that is disadvantage, whatever it is. But the education system mm -hmm. is very well poised okay. and mm -hmm. teachers are very well poised. So what we are doing actually mm -hmm. is doing huge amounts of training programs mm -hmm. uh, on very bespoke programs like the science of early childhood development, mm. like children with disabilities, like gender in early childhood development. Mm -hmm. We still have some of those very gendered discussions that are in our society, yeah. how they affect women versus men and all of that. But the idea is to create communities of practice mm -hmm. amongst teachers, amongst researchers, amongst policy makers, mm -hmm. so that this becomes self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that you constantly need to drip feed, yeah. but it is something that we take um, ownership of. Mm -hmm. These are our children. Yeah. And as, as Miss Helen is saying, mm -hmm. no matter where you are, no matter who you are, mm -hmm. 
these are all our children mm -hmm. and we are all responsible. Absolutely. And so as a university, our interest, of course, is research, mm -hmm. applying that research, mm -hmm. building capacity and creating the next generation of leaders mm -hmm. with the requisite knowledge and the creation of new knowledge that we yet don't have. Mm -hmm. I see that. Um, and, and, and Mr. Rosalia, so then what, what has been, you know, the uptick? Because again, we talked about, you know, CBC and all those things. You also mentioned that out of the 17 uh, sub-counties, so far you've done, what, eight? Eight, yeah. Suppressed, right? Yeah. So, so, so what is the response? What, what are they saying? What is it, uh, you know, that we need to do to make sure you get to all the 17 <laughs> sub-counties? Yeah, and it actually works. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of getting more donors to come okay. on board All right. and uh, we go with systems and mm. time. All right. Yeah, there's a, there's a full work plan. Now we know we have done with this, mm. we are moving to the same mm -hmm. until we'll finish all the 17. Mm. Yeah, okay. so that's in place. All right, so then from your eyes, what is the future of cell? For, um, just future of yes. cell. Future? The future of cell, yes, from... Of cell. Yes. For me, if only we could look at where the child begins. Mm. For instance, yeah. can you imagine the first day in a PP1 mm. class? Yeah. What do the children do? Okay. They cry, yeah. they scream, mm. they won't eat, you won't <laughs> touch them, I will they will refuse. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> but can you imagine in a span of a week, yeah. they even leaving your hand yeah. and running to the teacher? Yeah. What is it? Mm -hmm. Where did the rain start beating us? Yeah. That is what we should bring on board mm -hmm. so that you find by the time children are leaving PP2, mm. they are set yeah. and they know everything is done. Mm. It is just us mm -hmm. to put everything in place yeah. and to create very conducive mm -hmm. environments yeah. for our learners mm -hmm. and then the rest yeah. will just unfold. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. Uh, just to add on that, I'm also very pertinent on uh, issues judging the child. Ujui? Songa uko? Yeah. Ka ile group? Yeah. Uh -uh. When no. you look at what I'm able to do, mm -hmm. even if it is that making noise, yeah. that is a teacher, a TV presenter, mm -hmm. a politician, yeah. a pastor, a, a musician, <laughs> a researcher. <laughs> we are all using mouth power. Yeah. You are busy teaching and a child at the end of the class yeah. is singing. Mm -hmm. That is a musician. Yeah. You need to look at music festival. Yeah. You know, the minute we identify that, mm. then cell will be automated. Well, I see that. And yeah. allow me to, 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 to just have you lecture and you, you know, do a party shot in like 30 seconds before we're chased out of the studio because we literally <laughs> need to be out. As far as then an adult who has gone through SEL, what, is, what, what do you envision, right? And also the future of SEL and also research really. Yeah, mm. so the, the response to the first part, mm -hmm. as an adult, yeah. we need to be in charge of our emotions, right. mm -hmm. our behavior, mm -hmm. how we approach conflict. Mm -hmm. What challenges do we raise our standard to? All right. And what is it that we don't shy away from? Mm -hmm. It is what we call strong personal agency. Mm -hmm. The second aspect in terms of the research work, in terms of where we want to go, mm -hmm. uh, I believe we have a lot of cultural assets mm -hmm. in Kenya. Okay. What you know, we sometimes refer to as indigenous knowledge or local traditions. Mm -hmm. I think we need to build on that. Into that yeah. yeah, we don't need to throw that out. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and schools need to absorb that. Mm -hmm. and, and policies need to be responsive to that. Yeah. I see that, and it, that is one of the conversations that I would really be keen to have because there's so much, and, yes. and, and our cultures are very rich, so it will be interesting to see how then can we tap into that. But for now, allow us to say thank you <laughs> for your time this morning. Such an insightful conversation as far as promoting social uh, emotional learning right here in the country. And a special thanks to Dr. Anil Kamisuza, researcher, Institute for Human Development from Aga Khan Un uh, University, uh, Ms. Rosalia Muni Ndamboki, who's Assistant Director, School Health and Development in Charge of 
quality assurance from uh, Nairobi County and Madam Helen Mchenberry, who is a teacher and a counseling psychologist. Thank you so much for your time. Thank All you the too. very best. We look forward to having another Thank conversation. You. Saying, hey, so how far have we come <laughs> and, and, and where do we need to go? But for now, thank you so much for your time as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you've learned so much from today's conversation. But again, feel free to also engage with us on our socials. And that is at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on X for more on the same because the conversation doesn't have to end here. But for now, have yourselves a lovely day ahead and we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place right here on Your World. Stay safe. Goodbye.